for us. Today on Contraption, we're going to see some classic moments from Walt Disney's best-loved films. You at home can play along as we ask our studio team's questions about these films. Our categories are books, animals, heroes and villains, and magic. And to run the proceedings, here's our commissioner of Contraption, Ralph Harris. Thank you, and thank you, Miranda. Hi, everybody. We're ready to go. We've got some great prizes, some wonderful kids who are here to win them. And here come our contraption coaches, Kevin and Robin, with today's team. Our teams have been randomly selected before the show, and Robin is the coach of the Red Champs. Here they are. Hi, I'm Kevin, and I really love sports. I like tennis a lot. That's my favorite sport. Hi, my name is Stephanie, and I can stand on my head for 30 minutes. Hi, my name is Jason, I have a snake that's a ribbon snake, and his name is Tiki, and he eats fish. Well, sounds like quite a... Let's hear it, Red Team. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin is the coach of the Blue Blasters, and here they are. Hi, my name is Donald Coach, and I love to ice skate. My whole family ice skates professional. Hi, my name is Rachel Pearl, and I love gymnastics. Hi, my name is Melissa Ossie, and I'm a student council representative. Well, another great team with their Blue Team. Kids, we're glad you're here with us today, and good luck to everybody. Now, we've put three passports in each team's bank. Inside each passport is the name of the first station our kids will be going to today. So, kids, head to the dugout, pick up your passports, let's play Contraption! Our first station is Book. So, who's got a passport that says Book? Come on over! Looks like Donald for the Blue Team. And it's Jason for the red team. Donald, you, oh, you're ice skater. What's your best move on the ice? I like to do a waltz jump, and I also do a split. A waltz jump? That's kind of jump up and what? It, and then you land like that. And you land back like that. Sounds pretty dangerous, is it? No, <laughs> that's just about the easiest jump. How much do you practice a day? About two hours. With the whole family? Yeah. Yep. Nice to do. Good luck in the game. You ready to play? Yeah. We'll say hello to Jason, and we'll get to the game. Jason? Oh, you said you had a snake. Yeah, you want to tell us about it? And he eats fish, and I train him to be nice, and if he squeezes him, he'll bite. Well, now, wait a minute. I eat fish. I'm nice. If you squeeze me, I'll bite, too. Why is he different than me? Because he's a snake. Okay, well, you ready to play? Yeah. Good luck in the game. Here we go, guys. Now, we're all going to be looking at a scene from a classic movie from the Walt Disney Studios. At the end of the scene, I'm going to be asking you kids questions, and every time you give me a right answer, you're going to earn one very valuable contraptile. At the end of the show, the team with the most contraptiles is going to win a bundle of prizes. And I'm also going to have a special question just for you at home, so you might want to get a pencil and paper and be ready to write down your answer. Cinderella's friends decide to make her a new dress for the ball with surprising results. Let's watch them in this highlight from the Disney classic based on a story by Charles Perrault. So kids, turn around. Everybody eyes on the street. Oh, yeah. I said the little ball. After all, I suppose it would be frightfully dull and, and, and boring and, and completely, completely wonderful. When you're presented to his eyes, be sure. Wait. Please, wait for me. Isn't it lovely? Do you like it? Do you think it will do? Oh, that mother, she can't you wait. Wait. No, you oh, don't have a mother. Well, oh, please. After all, we did make a bond. Wouldn't it, Cinderella? And I never go back on my... Mm -hmm. Oh, very clever. These beans, they give it just the right touch. Don't you think so, Gisela? No, I don't. I think she... Oh, 
Start the show. Kids, turn around. Jason and Donald. Now, I'm going to ask questions. Every time you give me a right answer, you're going to hear this sound. That means you earn one contraptile for your team. And remember, end of the show team with the most contraptiles, grand prize winner. So, good luck. Here we go, starting with Donald and the blue team. What surprise did the mice have for Cinderella? A dress. A dress is correct. Contraptile for the blue team. Off to a good start. Jason, red. Who said she had made a bargain would never go back on her word. Her mother. Mother is cold. That's correct. Stepmother, mother, old lady, contrap pile for the red team. Donald. Blue. The first stepsister, Drusilla, said Cinderella was wearing something that belonged to her. What did she take from Cinderella? Um, the pearls. We'll take pearls, beads, Correct, another contraptile blue team. Jason, red. What did the second stepsister, Anastasia, take from Cinderella? Her dress. She ripped it off. Well, actually, she ripped off the sash. Just the sash. Okay, kids, that ends the questions for this round, but you both got your teams off to a good start, and now you're going to have a chance to add to your winnings in our exciting jungle boat race. So, coaches, if you'll help the guys into their jungle boats, we'll get ready for the race, and while they're getting ready, here's your special home question. In the scene, what did the stepsisters do to Cinderella's new dress? Later on, we'll tell you the answer so you can see how well you did, but right now, let's get to the jungle boat race, guys. Take off when you hear the whistle. One can trap pal the runner-up, two to the winner. On your mark. Get set. Contraptiles has each team earned. Wow, Donald won four contraptiles for the Blue Blasters, and Jason won three contraptiles for the Red Champ. A great round, guys. Head to the, the dugout. You can put those contraptiles in your team bank. Boy, that was an exciting round. Very well played. Good job.